All right, so here we have uh, the square root of a number that's not a square number, okay? So, you know, what we've previously talked about is when we have the square root of a square number, the squares cancel out and we're left with an x. So that was very helpful when we had like the square root of 25 because we know we could rewrite that as 5 squared, which equaled, or the square root of 5 squared, which equaled 5, all right? Well, here we got a problem because 24 is not a square number, right? We can't rewrite this as a number squared equals 24 where we could just cancel them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to the square numbers that I do know and see if some way we can rewrite 24 with those square numbers. So the square numbers I do know is 4, 9, uh, 16, 25. And obviously, I'm not going to keep on going because, um, you know, it's above 24. Yep. So we know 4, that's equal to uh, 2 squared. This is equal to 3 squared. That's equal to 4, 4 squared. And that's equal to 5 squared, right? Yep. So I could take the square root of any of these numbers and I would get 2, 3, 4, 5, right? You understand how the canceling out would work? Yep. So what I want to do is I want to see, can I rewrite 24 as a as a multiplication, you know, of one of these square numbers in there. So can I rewrite 24 as maybe like a product of one of these numbers and another number, as a multiple of one of these numbers? So think about it. Could I rewrite, you know, obviously 25 does not evenly go into 24, yeah. so that's not going to work. Could I rewrite 16 as a multiple to equal 24? No. No, not as a whole number, right? No. Does 9 evenly, evenly go into 24? No. No. Does 4 evenly go into 24? Yes. Yeah, it does, right? So 4 evenly goes in there six times. So what I'm going to do is I can rewrite this as 4 times 6, right? I haven't changed the math problem at all. I haven't yep. changed anything. I just rewrite 24 as 4 times 6. Yeah. Now, the only reason why I want to do that, like I said, we're trying to simplify this. So now I can say, oh, well, I can rewrite 4 as 2 squared. 2 squared times 6. And that helps me out because now, going back to this rule, when you have the square root of something squared, they cancel out and equal x. So the square root of 2 squared is going to cancel out. However, I cannot rewrite 6 as that squared number, can I? No. So that 6 is going to have to remain under the radical. It only cancels out for the 2. So therefore, my final answer, the 2 gets pulled out from the radical, but I'm left with 2 radical 6. Okay, yeah. Questions from that? No. Okay.